Okay. We got a little wiggle. Hey everyone, this weekend we are doing an unexpected but major project. Hopefully it's not too bad. We decided to install a CR Lawrence sliding window and we are stoked. So this is the CR Lawrence we we're talking about. It's going to go about right here above where our sofa is located. Um, we really wanted this for multiple reasons, you know, to have more airflow. And this would be something for our dog Aussie to um, be able to look out of and stick her head out while we're driving or parked, whatever. But we kind of didn't plan for it. As you can see, we have wall framing right here. So we're going to need to remove these two um, frames. We're going to have to remove this metal strut. We're going to have to redo some of this insulation right here. So it's going to be a little project, but this is going to go right here. All right, so this is gonna be about approximately where the framing of the window is gonna go. Um, as you might be able to see a little below, we got the tape. That's kind of, that's where our couch slash second bed's gonna be. And um, we want it to be centered above that. So we'll have enough room for our cabinets, have enough room for the back of our couch to come up and then have this here. So we got the strut off, got some uh, insulation cut around it. My original plan was to not have to use the grinder to cut this off. I was gonna try and just pry off these uh, these weld points, but it didn't work. So used our angle grinder. We have a thin metal grinder blade um, and you just, you hit it all four joints, pull it off just like we showed in our um, bed recess video, but yeah. Then we gotta trace out the framing of the window. Then we can get it up here and get it rolling. So we are trying to make our template. We removed the frame from the window and we're placing this here. What we're gonna do is trace on the inside of this and I'll probably have Ricky hold this tight so that it's not bending outwards. Um, and then after that, we're probably gonna put this back on to here and pre-drill um, the rest of the screws for these since they aren't already pre-drilled. We're going to create threads so that when we actually need to put these screws on inside the van, it's a lot easier. got the frame off we're going to use the outside of the piece that we cut to put it on here and see if it fits just top bottom this is the bottom, bottom. Sure. it fits so it fits honestly loose there's a tiny bit of wiggle room but it's not you know nothing crazy i think this will be good and obviously it's you know it's cardboard it's a little thick so if we use that template and yeah so if we use that template we can just make sure that we cut on the line not outside of it and you know cutting on the line will kind of just tighten it up just a little bit to make it a more perfect for perfect fit, but it's obviously the right shape and pretty much the right size. All right.
be able to mirror this to the outside so we can put it exactly where we have it now. So we got it. Yeah, we got the drill bits coming through. We just placed this back on where it belonged. Um, just got some tape to hold it in its place. If you take a step back, it actually looks really you know, symmetrical in accordance to these lines, but we're gonna just do a measure check just to see if it needs to be slightly adjusted left or right to make sure it don't look lopsided outside. Here, looking right at five and three quarters. Over here, right at five and three quarters. Really? Yeah. Got a little wiggle room, but you know, it just just centering it on the hole and having the clamp and frame on the other side, I don't think we'll have any issues. I can like hold this clip to try and keep it up where it's at. Yeah. What? Yeah. Sure. You measure both sides? Yeah. Well, push it in hard. Like, don't wear yourself out, but push it in because I'm moving this. I'm not going to be holding it anymore. Well, I'm trying to figure out exactly where it needs to be. Because unless this hole is just lopsided, this side looks like it's further down. How about, how about let's do this instead of do what we just did the opposite. Let's make sure it's centered on the inside and then you can measure how, you know. That's good up and down. Now we gotta go that way, Ted. It's actually pretty fucking good. From what I've seen so far, good. I got it. Push it in. large hole as best we could. We are going to do a water test. We're slightly worried our hole was too big, um, but I think it'll be okay.
so I don't see any water. I see a little water in here, which I heard was totally normal and that the water goes out of a water duct. Um, but it, it gets through the crack. But other than that, it's nowhere. But yeah, it's it's in the crack, but. Yeah, so with that little, just, the, the seam that she's talking about, on the outside, there's kind of two little uh, water shoots that are meant to kind of drain that out. So a little, a little bit of seepage, like on the inside of this crack, which I don't even, yeah, there's like a, a little bit from right, I guess where it comes in on the, the glass pivot. But yeah, where it actually really matters around the edge, looks like we're good. Whew. That is a relief. Yeah. Worried about that big asshole. <laughs> Final step. Oh no. <laughs> Hello, Ozzy's window. Successful install of our CR Lawrence window. Next is to figure out the framing, I guess, for it. Do some framing. So we will catch you tomorrow while we troubleshoot that. All right, back at it. Day two, CR Lawrence window, time to frame it. We have some ideas on how we want to do this. Subject to change in case it doesn't work. But goal here is to use these one by sixes and frame out the outside of this. So that way we'll have a nice little window sill. Um, the one by six, however, will come out further than our frame and a one by four would have been too short. So we're gonna do one by six and then we're gonna to have to trim long ways to make it fit in here, which isn't gonna be fun, but I think it's doable. We are gonna have our beams that used to be here. We're gonna get a, have a long one on top and bottom right here. So that way the sill, you know, will have something to mount onto. And from underneath, we're gonna probably put some like L brackets or something to support the sill as well. But I think it'll be good. We're just gonna to have to figure it out. get the top, bottom, and sides of our frame cut. Um, it was just difficult because this ledge has to tilt upward since the window tilts downward, and that affects the angles that these side pieces need to be cut at. So it was a lot of trimming and going back and forth, but we finally got it. Now we're gonna screw all this together, and then we're gonna start um, shaping out our corner pieces with this thin board so it'll look like this and then we will like adhere that to the back of our frame so it covers up the corner spaces and by corners we mean that little area up in there so on the back side of this frame there will be a little you know, U shape covering that up so it'll all be painted wood and look finished. You can see the lower support beam. We're gonna have another one up here to brace it as well. Down here, we're gonna put a couple more struts from here to here and from here to here just to give some extra support and then be able to lay our shiplap on that when the time comes. We got our frame all screwed in and it fits nice and snug and then we are using our curvature tools to get this uh, curve and to translate it onto our uh, plywood board.
got all of our, our curves put in, worked. So it looks real finished. You can't see any van in any corners. The ship lap, you know, will just run alongside this. It sits flush with, sits flush with our furring strips. So once we get our, you know, walls on board and everything, we'll probably throw some, some trim around here to officially, officially finish it. But with that being said, that is all for this video. Um, go check us out next time. Run away, get away, get away now Too many games and they all trying to play out Too many people and they all start to change now Let me take a bet, they gon' know my name now Yeah, we came a long way, but it's one way Got a long way to go like it's Monday Someday gotta be in LA Know I gotta make it work out like